Hey guys, D Shings, and welcome back to another One Piece Bounty Rush video. So, in this video, yep, it's gonna be a, a quick video because, damn, okay, I don't get freaking Bandai. Like, sometimes when they're happy, happy, they decided to, like, oh, let's do some character preview. Sometimes they just literally throw Rayleigh and Sengoku out, like, bam. So, wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's, let's get started. So, they sent out these two pictures. So, this picture, something like this, you probably don't know. Then, this picture also looks a bit weird. Then, okay, so for those who don't know already who is actually gonna, who is in this picture, is basically Kit. So, as you can see from the, 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 the weird ass leggings and his arm, and also I think he's part of his goggles, I think. Yeah. So that's Kid. Then the second character that is next is the Drake. So you can see his ex, his uh his cutlass, I think. Yeah. Then the rest will be his color scheme with his coat, you know. So pretty much I think they will be coming and I believe the banner, uh Bounty Fest banner for Sengoku and really ends tomorrow. So for those who keep asking whether you can use the scout point ticket for the next banner, the answer is no. Then, um, yeah. So Kit times most likely it's gonna be the time skip version of Kit and Drake. Then, regarding their skills wise, I can't really imagine because they didn't really show too much of it. Uh, besides Drake, like if you watch him in Wano, he he has this like, you know how uh Zoan characters have uh their pre their hybrid form and their full transformation form. So I could see. Drake having a hybrid one and one in his full uh raptor form yeah like I, I can't exactly remember the name of the freaking fruit uh, of the dinosaur that he took it but yeah I think it's Allosaurus or something like that yeah then okay next is Kit so Kit we already have a Kit in the game and the Kit I realized right while trying to play some uh or get some uh, gameplays right I realized he He's kind of bug. Like the thing is, uh, his skill one supposed to be able to, uh, you are supposed you, you can break it after receiving thirty percent of his max HP. And I have like 20, 23 k or so. But, uh, thirty percent is supposed to be like about seven to eight k. But, like sometimes I get two thousand damage and and the skill one just disappears. So, I don't know what the hell is going on. So I don't know how the new kit will be like. I do think one of the skill might be the. Like just having it's like a sandstorm but with blades, you know. The that that is one ability I can think of. The other ability, I don't know if they will want to copy the the pre time skip kit like to have one skill just to buff his attack. But it's gonna be nice. Like I think I don't know. It could it's gonna be cool, but I think it will just be re repetitive. So yeah. Then I was kind of hoping to save up for Onami, but <gasps> looking at this man, hmm. Comment down below if you guys will be summoning, and if you guys want to see me summon, I am actually very tempted. Like Onami doesn't seem that great. Like her skill one is is not an attacking one, so that that is kind of like a turn off for me. So I'm actually very interested in summoning, and yep, I think that's it for this video. Uh, definitely comment down below if you guys uh, what abilities you guys think they will have like because we don't know too much about their post time skip abilities yeah like uh, I tried looking up at wiki for um, description of their skills etc but there wasn't really much information so I think that's it for this video uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing if you want to see more One Piece Bounty Rush content I know most of you guys are exhausted after summoning for really and Sengoku and like this banner is like Damn! So, rip guys. Then I think that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you!